So Zen Deathmatch, this is quite the interesting one. Um, this is the only official map to take place in Zen. Of course. Uh, this came out the same time as Rust Mill and Double Cross and a lot of other maps. But as far as I'm aware, you can only get this one on further data. I might be wrong on that. I don't even know who made this one, unlike all the other official maps. So if you're out there, you know who you are. So yeah, this is the center area. I'm glad it started me here because this is the most normal part of the map, really. Uh, as you're gonna tell right away, uh, Zen's uh, lower gravity from the single player is in full effect here. So if you start up here, you got the submachine gun. Something cute though, unlike in single player, this Zen's got ladders here. I don't they, like these do not exist as far as I'm aware in any single player map. I'll talk about what's over here in a second. But let's go back here. Uh, so another unique thing is a healing pool, which, you know, is nice, but you probably don't want to be standing around too long in this. Uh, unless you're maybe, like, dueling. Uh, cause, you know, people are probably gonna come and find you and, like, you know, kind of ruin your time. And, you know, that's probably not a good thing. So, yeah, let's check out over here. You got some supplies, I think an SMG. Or at least, you know, the ammo for one. If you come up this way. Oh, yes, 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 it's here. You got the shotgun here. And you got a whole bunch of ammo on both sides, so keep that in mind. You got two exits that will lead you to two other, like, opposite sides of the map. Um, but first, I'm gonna go up here so we can check out what was up here. And we're gonna bonk our head and fall down because that's always a good thing to do. So, as you can see, this map is absolutely gigantic in a lot of ways. Um, you know, if you have a gauze, uh, we haven't gotten it yet, but once you get the gauze in this map... Like, you could, like, pretty much just fly around the whole map like no one's business. Um, but I don't know how many gauzes are actually in the map. I know there's at least one, of course, because I brought it up. Go figure. But I think there might be two. So, yeah, this is how, if you gauze jump or use the alien abscesses here, whatever you want to call them, this is how you would have gotten up here. Uh, you might have noticed that floating island over there. As far as I'm aware, you need either the map's long jump or the gauze. So, just keep that in mind, and look at that. I forgot, this is where actually where it spawns. Though, be careful if you're gonna jump this. Hold... Crouch, because you're not always gonna be able to make that. I'm gonna go back up before I show- Because I want to show off anyway. Actually, good spot for this. So, this is one of the gauzes, or the, the only gauze. Yeah, watch this. Yeah, basically, you could scale the whole map with that thing. We're gonna- We're right on top of it, so gauze... This is the, the king of the gauze maps, if you will, if that makes any sense. Grab those explosives and snarks. That'll lead you into all, like, if you want to get back down there, take that hole. Lead you right in there. Obviously, good time guaranteed for all if you throw some, like, helpful snarks down that way. Um, but yeah, let's, we got some unfinished business down here. Um, well, you know where the gauze is. If you want to get to it, it requires a little bit of skill with your long jumping. I want to try again. Yeah, you gotta hold crouch. That really stretches your abilities. So yeah, keep that in mind if you're gonna try to get over there. And obviously too, once you have the long jump, you can like easily scale out of the map. So let's head down a level. Uh, over here you got this helpful little container. This jump's a lot easier to make. Just got a lot of ammo in it, but you know, that's a real good thing. Uh, I have noticed though that gauzing in this map it is very likely for the ricochet effect to take place where if you played this game long enough, you'll know that if you center or you aim in a certain way with the uh, gauze, you'll do that and you'll kill yourself. You know, that's probably not a good thing. So now that we're down here, there's a sniper or the crossbow here. And, okay, I bitched about it in Team 9 about the draw distance, but this map's draw distance is, uh... Y yeah, it's a little bit interesting, as you can see. It's, um... Well, I'm gonna forgive it here, though, because it probably was set so low because of, like, how complicated this map is in terms of, like polygon count and stuff like that and you're not likely to be see the other side of the map anyway so it's a really minor thing it just you know when i first played it it kind of bugged me so anyway this whole bottom area has got like this like alien water obviously if you use the alien things here you're gonna go for quite a ride you, you'll pretty much be able to scale the whole map with that though keep in mind the fall damage even if it's minor because you know it's gonna be set it's still you're gonna take damage from to a grid of height even here so, we'll talk about this little ledge in a bit. I want to go back this way. Yeah, see what I mean about the draw distance? Why it's set so low? Like, right now, my computer's dropping frames. And this is like, you know, how old is this game now? So, I think that kind of says everything about, like, how complex this map is for, like, the... A, like, you know, how old this game is. 
You gotta, on a lot of these, um, you know, a lot of these abscesses or trampolines, whatever, you got, uh, chargers for your, like, uh, you know, suit or powers, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you keep walking this way, you'll get some more stuff over this way. You know, another bounce. I'm just gonna... Why do I fist myself, like, in so such a way? Okay, fine, I'm gonna stop guys jumping. That's the one downside to it. It's very helpful here. But you probably want to angle it like this. Like, even then. Did you see what happened there? It's just... It's really helpful, but I, I tend to find that I end up killing myself at the time. Maybe that's intentional to dissuade people from, like, you know, abusing the gauze here. Anyway, get the RPG, always. There's that little gap, so that's the, where that ledge was, like, earlier. If you were to jump up here, you can get another... Both a rocket launcher and a crossbow. Some really good stuff, all guaranteed for all there. I'm gonna... I can't really explore anywhere now, because I... I think this is the most I've died in a single, like, video so far. I'm gonna risk it again. Yeah, it's just... Oh my god! Well, at least if you hug the wall, um, you know, you're gonna, like, you'll still get pretty high up. That's where that other entrance led, by the way, if you were curious. It comes out this way to our rocket launcher. We'll drop down it there. We're almost done exploring anyway. It's a big map, but there's not, in, like, super complicated. Which makes it pretty fun. Um, obviously, if you're gonna be playing this map, you don't- you wanna really be thoughtful with your jumps and stuff like that. There's a little area for some crossbow ammo. Lots of crossbows in this map. They obviously, whoever designed it, want you sniping. I can see why. So if you jump down here, is where you'll get here, get the RPG ammo. And that's pretty much it. Um, and from there, it's just, you know, careful use of your, like, air, like, time, as I've said. You know, getting, knowing where the weapons are, when to snipe, when not to do this, for instance. And yeah, you'll do just fine. I imagine a lot of the reason why there were uh, more Zen, like, deathmatch maps in the default game was because the fact that, you know, you going to Zen in this game was actually supposed to be kind of a spoiler. Or a secret. I mean, technically, it kind of still is. If you've never played this game before, you might not know that, you know, you go to Zen at some point in the game. But, you know, this is 2022 now. This game's been out for, like, over, well over two decades now. A decade and a half, almost, at this point. So if you didn't know you go into, like, super alien land, I don't know what to tell you. Also, you'll see that the, um, liquid absorbs explosions. I actually didn't know that. Kind of sucks, but oh well. The utility of the, um, healing pit here, or healing pool here, is probably limited because, you know, people are going to be firing at you while you're there. And uh, the, I think there's at least at least the one spawn point. There might actually even be two. So, you know, use it if you, like, you know. I would say for smaller rounds. Oh, come on! I sh Did you see that? I shot Santa Lady, and after someone already killed her. My luck, exactly. Um, interestingly, I feel the, uh, SMG grenades don't, um, get affected much by the gravity, which is actually odd. I, I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks on me, though. I'm coming for you. Well, never mind. Come on, I need this for some sniper compilation on YouTube. Oh, well, never mind. Alright, well, that just leaves us Rapid Core as the only official map left to, um, cover. So that's gonna be the next video, right? No, it isn't.